Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick look at the inspector. I've noticed there's a few different quirky things about the inspector. And uh, there's one question I have for all of you, so I'll talk about that right at the end. Um, however, as I was going through the inspector a little bit this week, and I can't verify, I'm sure that many of these things have been like this for a long time. But there are just a couple things to be aware of when you're when you're doing some things over here. So first of all, in the inspector we have two different areas, the track area and the region area. And it's just as you would think, if you select a region, you can adjust that region independently of other regions on the track, but then you can control the entire track using the track parameters. As an example, let's do a quick transposition of this region. So the original one, they're all C. I'm going to transpose this up two half steps. And then let's... Uh... So now you can see it's transposed. And with the second one, you can even see it move the notes visually down here in the piano roll. That's one of the first quirks right here. Because if I do this on the track level... you'll see that it does not move them visually here, but the region-based one does. So I don't understand why that would be any different, but it is. So one of them shows and the other one doesn't. So that's the first thing. Another thing is that I wish we had a little bit better overall track quantization. So you can see we don't have any quantization for the old track, but we can select the header and do quantize. Now, check this out. If I quantize the first one to say half notes, the second one to eighth notes, we can have different quantization on the same track. So, I, you know, I kind of get that. The regions may have different needs. But one thing to keep in mind is that if you deselect all of your regions, you can actually see that the region switches to MIDI through, which means that now all of this applies to whatever you record next. So for instance, if you know you're going to be putting 16th note quantization on a track, here, let's do this. Right, that was just with the keyboard here. This region now has that quantization on it. So it's a way to start with that, even if you don't have the region existing yet. And that's the same with all these parameters. So now I could come through here and turn it off. And it goes back to the original performance. So it's still non-destructive. But it's kind of a nice way to get something set up in advance of recording if you want to, and it will apply to all of the regions you have. So another thing here, and this is the, the quirk that I noticed today that I don't have an answer for. I couldn't figure out if it does something different. Down here with the no transpose. So what this means is that if we have transposition here, And one of these regions has the no transposition, and this one has the two half steps. That's fine. We can click no transpose, and it will turn off the region-based transposition. Now check this out. No transpose. If we turn up the track transposition, it still transposes it even if no transpose is turned on. I don't understand the inconsistencies here, but more important or less important, when I click on no transpose the first time, it gives me a dash or a minus, and then it goes to a check, and then it turns off. Does anyone watching understand what that's about? What is, I couldn't figure out anything. It doesn't ever sound different. It doesn't seem to do anything there. Now, I haven't looked to see if it's a score editor or something else, but just right off the bat, I couldn't find anything. There's nothing in the documentation. So if you know what those do, 
please comment below and let me know. Okay, again, just a couple quirks about these that maybe you need to be aware of, maybe you don't, but I thought were interesting enough to share. Anyway, hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time.